Margaret Decker, 7 News. Clive Palmer has inflamed tensions between himself and villa owners at his Coolum resort by dismissing them as whingers. The millionaire politician had tried to buy them out of their properties for half the price they were originally sold for. Clive Palmer was among friends this morning, launching job queen Serena Russo's new Maruchidor office. He's an extraordinary man who keeps on giving. That's not how many Palmer Coolum Resort holiday villa owners feel about him. We're not going to put up with this megalomaniac who uh, is building a shrine to his ego. They're incensed by his attempt to buy them out with what they say was an outlandishly low figure, the offer later withdrawn. It was a stupid and unrealistic offer. He was hoping to flesh out some vulnerable owners that might have to sell. It's up to them if they want to accept it. But then everyone says, oh, Clive's bullying us because he's offering us money. So then I withdrew the offer because I don't want to get involved in it. In any case, Palmer has his priorities. I don't care what the villa owners say, really. None of them live in Fairfax. People that live in Sydney and Melbourne who want to be whingers and all that, that's fine. Clive Palmer has also rejected suggestions he's deliberately trying to run the resort into the ground. He insists a major revamp will take place. Now, but if you've been there, you think it's run into the ground? I mean, it's been maintained, it's in a, high, a, a pristine light. Of course, you can't do renovations unless you draw up plans. We need to have ironic, uh, uh, iconic five-star resorts. Critics say it's ironic he was launching a job program given the hundreds of people made redundant at the resort. But Palmer blames Sunshine Coast Council for stifling opportunities. Sunshine Coast Council is very negative, as you know, about any development on the Sunshine Coast other than council development. Look, I'd like to reassure people on the Sunshine Coast that our economy is very strong. The Sunshine Coast has delivered more new jobs than almost any other region in Queensland. This was a rare appearance on the coast, but the Fairfax MP makes no apologies. My job is not to open fates or to come to things like that. My job is to make sure federally that we get the right policies. Jessica Ross, 7 News.